女士们、先生们、记者朋友们，大家好！一带一路国际合作高峰论坛开幕以来，各位记者朋友做了大量的报道，记录了各个精彩的时刻，传播了各国共同建设一带一路的声音，向世界展示了一带一路建设的伟大进展。And let the world see the robust progress of the Belt and Road Initiative. On behalf of the Chinese government and all the participants, let me say a big thank you to you all. Yesterday, we had the opening session and high-level dialogue. Heads of state and government and leaders of international organizations were joined by representatives of government, business and academia from over a hundred countries. In a friendly and amiable atmosphere, we focused our discussion on the Belt and Road Development for International Cooperation and many good ideas and suggestions were proposed. The discussions led to positive outcomes. During the past two days, China signed multiple new cooperation agreements with relevant parties. So far, so far, six. 68 countries and international organizations have signed Belt and Road Cooperation Agreements with China. The Leaders' Roundtable today brought together leaders of 30 countries and heads of the UN, the World Bank Group, and the IMF under the theme of Belt and Road Cooperation for Common Prosperity. We had an in-depth exchange of views on policy synergy for closer partnership, connectivity cooperation, and people-to-people -people exchanges. We have reached broad consensus and adopted a joint communique. The current forum is a high-level gathering of the international community with focus on the Belt and Road development. It has taken stock of the cooperation progress, built consensus, and charted the course for the Belt and Road cooperation with a roadmap and action plan. This forum has sent a positive message to the rest of the world that we will work together to advance Belt and Road international cooperation and build a community of shared future for mankind. First, we all want to pursue both the development of our own countries and the common development of the world, and we have set the goals and direction of the Belt and Road Corporation. We are of the view that the development of the Belt and Road has come to a new stage of making progress on all fronts, as can be seen in greater policy coordination, faster implementation of major economic and trade projects, emerging infrastructure networks, enhanced trade and investment facilitation, steady progress in industrial and financial cooperation, and closer people-to-people -people ties. As our next step, we will build on what has been achieved, seek further progress of the Belt and Road efforts at a broader, deeper, and higher level, and work together to address major challenges facing the world economy. It is our hope that through the Belt and Road development, we will unleash new driving forces for economic growth, build new platforms for global development and rebalance economic globalization so that mankind will move closer to a community of shared future. Second, we will champion the Silk Road spirit and stay committed to win-win cooperation. We agree that the Belt and Road Initiative is an open and inclusive platform for development where all interested countries can participate, contribute, and benefit as equals. 
Under the principles of uh, extensive consultation, joint contribution, and shared benefits, we will continue to move forward policy, infrastructure, trade, financial, and people-to-people -people connectivity. What we want is closer win-win cooperation through greater openness. We will not base cooperation on ideological ground, nor will we pursue any political agenda or make any exclusive arrangements. Third, we will continue to step up policy coordination and synergize our development strategies so as to pull our strength for coordinated development. We will coordinate our trade, investment, financial, and other macroeconomic policies, advance economic structural reforms, and foster an enabling international environment for development. We will synergize our development strategies and programs, work together to develop action plans, and provide policy support for major projects. We will work together to ensure an open world economy, advance FTA development, and promote trade and investment liberalization and facilitation. We reiterate the importance of innovation-driven development, support such innovation endeavors as cross-border e-commerce, big data, and smart city, and will jointly cultivate new industries, new business forms, and models. We also support greater complementarity between the Belt and Road Initiative and the development programs of other countries and those of international and regional organizations so that they will complement one another for coordinated development. Fourth, we have developed a road map for cooperation and identified priority areas and course of action. It is our hope that the Belt and Road Cooperation will help boost economic growth of all participating countries, improve their infrastructure, invigorate their industrial development, deepen financial cooperation, and intensify people-to-people -people exchanges. We agree that connectivity will remain a priority of our cooperation, and we will endeavor to connect overland passages with seaports and establish infrastructure networks of unimpeded land and sea routes. We will also step up soft connectivity, such as information sharing, mutual recognition of regulation, and mutual assistance in law enforcement, enhance cooperation in areas such as customs and quality inspection, and harmonize national rules and standards. We support an accelerated development of economic corridors, encourage more international cooperation on production capacity and equipment manufacturing, and call for the establishment of joint business and industrial parks and cross-border economic cooperation zones. We also support green and low-carbon development and a flourishing IT industry. We agree to expand financing channels, explore new ways of financing, lower financing costs, and put in place a stable and sustainable financial safeguard system to keep risk manageable. We support greater cooperation in areas such as education, science and technology, culture and healthcare, and encourage more exchanges in tourism and between think tanks as well as media organizations. We will take further steps to facilitate people-to-people -people exchanges. We will also work to meet people's expectation by expanding cooperation in such areas as sustainable development, fight against corruption, poverty reduction, and disaster mitigation. Fifth, we have advanced practical cooperation through the platform of the forum and achieved a series of positive outcomes, which further enhanced practical cooperation. Before and during the forum, China has uh, concluded a number of documents 
and agreements on cooperation in the context of the Belt and Road Initiative with many participating countries and international organizations. Such cooperation ranges from planning for greater synergy of macro policies and development strategies to taking actions on the ground to facilitate trade, investment, and infrastructure connectivity, industrial and financial cooperation, and people-to-people -people exchanges. China, for its part, has announced a number of new decisions aimed at promoting policy synergy, accelerating the building of economic corridors, strengthening cooperation on major projects, and increasing financial support. These include contributing an additional 100 billion RMB to the Silk Road Fund and encouraging financial institutions to conduct overseas RMB fund business with an estimated amount of about 300 billion RMB. The China Development Bank and the Export and Import Bank of China will offer 250 billion RMB equivalent and 130 billion RMB equivalent of special credit lines respectively for cooperation projects under the Belt and Road Framework. The China International Import Expo will be held from 2018 that has been warmly welcomed by the participants. We have put together a list detailing more more than 270 major deliverables of the forum. These deliverables will effectively underpin the Belt and Road efforts as they have boosted the confidence of all parties in enhanced cooperation. The discussions we have had at the forum reaffirm our belief that it serves our common interests to strengthen the Belt and road cooperation and jointly address the challenges facing the world economy. This is also in line with the long-term development goals of all countries. We have every reason to be confident in the future of the Belt and Road. That said, there is Still a long way to go, as the Belt and Road is a long-term undertaking. It is important for all parties to work more closely together if we are to make the blueprint a reality and keep delivering tangible results. It is hoped that the forum should continue to serve as a platform for fostering policy synergy. And in some countries uh, proposed that we institutionalize the Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation, and they express the hope for fostering policy synergy and exploring further cooperation. I announced at the forum that China will host the second Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation in 2019. As an ancient Chinese saying goes, one single light feather does not make a bird fly high, and one single hoof does not make a horse run fast. Similarly, the Belt and Road, a joint undertaking of all parties, will not be possible without active involvement of the media and all other sectors of society. And your participation uh, is unprecedented in terms of the scale. I'm sure with the joint efforts of all, the Belt and Road will surely be turned into a road of peace, prosperity, opening up, innovation, and one that connects different civilizations. Thank you.